Hello everyone, welcome to the Unistella channel. Thank you for being here. In this first video, we're gonna talk about how to do a quick setup straight out of the box with your EV scope. This is what we call the quick start guide. So there's really nothing complicated here. Just gonna take a few minutes and at the end, we're gonna be able to see galaxies and nebulae. So if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up, leave a comment, don't hesitate to share the video. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe because there's gonna be other tutorial videos. So if you're ready to discover the wonders of the night sky, let's go. So the box is just here, let's open her up. There could be two different boxes depending on the EV scope that you've ordered. If you've ordered it with the backpack, you're gonna get the backpack and the EV scope in the box. If you ordered it without, you're just gonna have a box with the EV scope. So what have we got inside the box? Well, the EV scope, of course, and the tripod. We'll set up the tripod a little later. Also inside the box, you're gonna find a small box with tools inside. For instance, they're gonna help you tighten the legs on your tripod. Also in the box, you're gonna get two documents. The first is the quick start guide, which is gonna give you all the basics for setting up. And that's what we're gonna do right now. And the second document is more technical. That's why it's called the technical guide. Inside this one, you're gonna find more technical information like how to do focusing with the Batonov mask. So we're going to put this to the side for a moment. We don't need it, but don't worry. Everything that's inside will be explained in future videos. Let's do it. We'll start with the installation. So we're going to remove the tripod and open the legs up to their maximum setting. The first thing we're going to do is set up this bubble level. So what's this guy do? Well, it's going to let us verify that the tripod is completely level make sure that the bubble is centered in the middle of the black circle by moving or adjusting the legs as you need. Now we're gonna untighten the screws. So you wanna take your EV scope by the base and gently just pop it in. And then you wanna tighten up your screws to make sure it's well fixed. Don't forget to take off the top cover and also the eyepiece. Now your EV scope is installed. You can switch it on by pressing on this button for two seconds you're gonna see a purple light for about five seconds and then it's gonna turn red. When it's red, it means your EV scope is ready to go. So now you've got the EV scope installed, let's talk about the connection between your smartphone and this guy. Depending on which phone you've got, see if, if it's an iPhone, you're gonna download it from the App Store. If it's an Android, you're gonna download it from Google Play and you're gonna download the Unistella application. With the application, we're gonna be able to control the EV scope, make observations and save images and be able to share them as well. Once you download the application, you're going to be able to connect with the EV scope. To do this, it couldn't be simpler. You go to the settings on your phone, look for Wi Fi, and connect to the EV scope network. You should be able to see a network named EV scope followed by six random characters. Really important, if you see no internet connection, this is totally normal. The EV scope creates a Wi Fi network, but it's not an internet connection. However, you've still got an internet connection on your telephone with 3G or 4G, just not Wi-Fi. One thing though, if you're on Android, you must be on at least version nine. Otherwise, the message that you have no internet connection is correct. So now that the EV scope is connected with your smartphone, we can launch the application. Here's what we see when we launch the app for the very first time. So on your screen, you're gonna see a black window, you're gonna see a joystick, and you're gonna see some icons that we're gonna talk about later. You're now in the first category, EV scope. This is where you're gonna make your observations, pilot the EV scope, and adjust some settings. Let's have a look at the four other icons at the bottom of the screen. This is called Explore. Floor, and here you can choose between thousands of objects. There's nebulae, galaxies, and star clusters. All you need to do is pick one. This gives you some information, and then you've got the go to button. As soon as you click on it, the EV scope will move towards the object. The third icon is called science, and this is really interesting, but we're gonna talk about this in another video. Gallery, the fourth one, this is where you can save your images and share them with your contacts. And lastly, user. This is gonna give you information, for instance, about your battery. But for now, let's go back to the EV scope icon because it's here that we're gonna be able to focus in on our objects. With the in-app joystick, you're gonna be able to lower your EV scope to around 45 degrees so that you can see stars through the eyepiece. It should be really easy, but if you don't see stars straight away, move your joystick until you do. As soon as you see stars, you're gonna check the focus by turning the focusing wheel located at the bottom of your EV scope. To get the best focus possible, 
you need to align the visual cue with the top screw, not the left one, the top one. One thing though, even if you've got the visual cue aligned with the top screw, this may not give you the best focus, so you play around with it until you get the best focus. If you wanna learn how to have the best focus possible, be sure to check how to do the mirror alignment and how to use the Badenov mask. You'll find all the information in the technical guide and we're gonna have two more videos on the channel explaining how to use them. And lastly, don't forget to check out the FAQs on the website. Now you should be able to see really sharp stars on your smartphone and through the eyepiece. It should look like this. This one is out of focus, this one is sharp. This is where you can touch this icon, the one that looks like a target. This is called the autonomous field detection. Thanks to this, the EV scope will analyze the sky, it will recognize the stars, and it will be able to find many objects on its own. It shouldn't take more than 15 seconds, and that's really amazing. If it doesn't work the first time, use your joystick to move the EV scope to another part of the sky, and try again. When it's done, you'll see sky tracking on. So things are getting serious now. Now that the EV scope knows where it is, you're gonna be able to find some really cool objects in the sky. Let's talk about the explore section. Here, you can access thousands of night sky objects. Obviously, not all night sky objects are visible all the time. As you know, the earth turns, so the sky moves. That's why the app shows you only what's available right now. One galaxy might be visible at 11 p.m., but not at 4 a.m., depending on the time Time, the day, the season, you won't see the same things on the list. To start, you can choose objects recommended by Unistellar. These are the first objects on the list. For instance, let's pick M42, the famous Orion Nebula. The screen will display information, including your best friend, the go-to button. As soon as you hit this button, the EV scope will go to this nebula. It'll only take a few seconds. So now we're gonna talk about the observe and enhance features. When you observe an object with the EV scope, you have two ways to see it, two different modes. Right now you're in the live view mode. You're watching the sky live. You can see that you have an icon at the top right. This is where you'll be able to adjust to the gain and the exposure time. Notice that in live view, the contrast and the brightness are locked. We'll explain everything in other videos, but where the EV scope is a real marvel is when it makes the transition between live view and enhanced vision. Okay, now that you see an object in your eyepiece, you're gonna be able to activate the enhanced vision by clicking on the icon that looks like an eye looking at a star. At this moment, the EV scope will make the almost invisible really visible. Wait a few seconds and you'll be able to see nebulae and galaxies in all their splendor. You can even wait two or three minutes and it'll give you better results. You'll still be able to adjust the settings, but when the enhanced vision is activated, your gain and exposure time are locked. You'll still be able to work with the contrast and the brightness. After two or three minutes, you're gonna have some amazing results on the smartphone and on the eyepiece, but it's always better to look on the eyepiece. One important thing, the enhanced vision is not adapted for the moon and planet. These objects are already very bright, so you're not gonna get better results by adding more brightness. By contrast, deep sky objects work way better with the enhanced vision. It's been made for that. When you see an image that you really like, you can save it by clicking on this button here on the top right. You'll have access to your gallery by clicking on the gallery icon at the bottom. And for each image that you click on, you have the option to share it with this icon here. Okay, let's end this video with the last step. This is called the park mode. Once you've finished your observations, you have the option to park your EV scope. And to do that, Nothing's easier. Let's go to the user icon and press the Park My EV Scope button. Once you press this, your EV scope will go back to its original vertical position. And don't forget to just replace the top cover and the eyepiece. Okay, we're done. Now you know how to use your EV scope. Now you know how to focus, how to find thousands of objects, how to make your observations, how to save your images, and how to share them. We really hope you enjoyed this video and see how easy it is to use your EV scope. Feel free to share your images or this video. We've got more detailed videos coming up soon that are gonna help you optimize your observations. This video was just an introduction. We've got a lot more things to discover. So subscribe to this video and click the notification button. That way you'll be notified of new videos that arrive. Thank you very, very much from Unistella and we'll see you soon.